Hi, welcome to Epic Men. We're glad that you landed on this page. Mm -hmm. We're looking at Proverbs. We've been looking at Proverbs for a while now. Yes. So many wonderful things to glean. Here today, we're looking at Pro Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 14. It says this, the best insurance for a leader's longevity is to demonstrate justice for the poor. So I love that word justice. It is my last name, but uh, <laughs> it does carry a lot of significance in the Bible. It does yeah. over and over and over yeah. again uh, that God keeps going back to requiring, if I may use that strong word, yeah. uh, justice from us toward people. Yeah, good. And which good. will deal with our attitude. That's yeah, good. sometimes right. I'll look at some people and think they don't deserve it. Wow. Yeah. But who am I to really always make that judgment? Yeah, that's good. You man. know, and I want to submit to us that we may want to just turn back to God and say, Lord, what's your opinion about this? Mm -hmm. What about this person over here? Yeah. How do you see them? Is there something I can do to be of help to them? Yeah, great. And, and benefit to them yeah. and all. Like one of the things that I've done in the past is actually bought some uh, cards, gift cards from like McDonald's or another place like that yeah, yeah. to hand out to people that might be on the street corner asking for, great for food. One. Just simply, you know, to say, hey, I care enough to give you something that will be beneficial to you right, right. Uh, that way. I know it's not enough and yeah. I know it won't handle everything, yeah. but it may be a start. That's great. I love that you have like a system in place. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because I, I think sometimes we need to be purposeful with our generosity. Yes. We can't just be really flippant because if we're flippant, it's never going to happen right. is what I've noticed. And um, mm -hmm. I, when I was kind of looking in the scripture, I was reminded of in the book of Acts, how our giving to the poor has eternal value and right. eternal weight. There's a story where an, an angel comes to Cornelius and he says, your prayers and your gifts to the poor have gone up before the Lord and, and created this memorial. Mm -hmm. And you get this idea or this sense that there is this like statue or this thing that represents what I'm doing here right. on earth before the Lord mm -hmm. and the Lord sees it and it's right. not in vain you know um, the Lord sees every smile all the you know he he says I, I'm a I'm uh, he says what you do to the least of these you know you've done it to me exactly. so what are we doing to the least of those and sometimes someone might say I don't even know where to start and so mm -hmm. that's why you know getting involved with your church or different organizations that are already making huge impacts in those kinds of ways. It's just great to partner with and you might get great ideas. Like I love that idea you have, Gary, that's wonderful. Absolutely, so let's pray. Yeah. Lord, we turn to you and we say, God, what's your opinion on these things? Mm, when good. we look at people and we wanna have a tendency to wanna make a judgment about them in some negative way, Lord, would you cause us to see people from your vantage point mm. and then seek you and to say, Lord, is there a way I can be a blessing to them, yeah, a help good. to them? And Lord, show us those things from a real and practical way that'll bless others. Right. Lord, guide us in that. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Amen. So we've joined with you. We've shared some things with you. Now, would you mind passing it on to somebody That's else? Right. Yeah. Leave us a comment, whatever. And until next time, uh, may God richly bless you as you continue to minister to people.